What is up, guys? This is your boy, Chavis Speaks. Right now, I want to talk to you guys about Supergirl Season 4, Episode 13. What's so funny about truth, justice, and the American way? Um, before I get anything started, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, comment, whatever you guys think about this video, and whatever video ideas you guys want to do next, because it's going to get real. And uh, I just want to say, man, for this episode of Supergirl, this is actually, I actually like this episode. Because, you know, once again, they went a little political, and I really understood the message, the thing with the episode that they were trying to push here. As we all know, my boy Manchester Black came back in, was real swole with his squad, talking about, look, these aliens as aliens, we're tired of getting pushed around by these bitch-ass children of liberty-ass motherfuckers. I formed my own damn squad, we're called the Elite. We're tired of this, these people treating us like, pretty much just treating us like shit. And uh, we ain't talking, we ain't, we ain't taking it no more. So any, any one of you righteous motherfuckers can get this, can catch these fades and catch these hands. All y'all can get to work, you know, and, and throughout the whole entire episode, we pretty much just saw Supergirl come combating that, you know, only because, you know, she wants to be fair, you know, and, and I can understand that because, you know, there are some circumstances in which fairness does work, but there are just some circumstances, honestly, especially when it pertains to prejudice and so forth, where, where honestly, I got to be honest with you, where honestly, um, fairness <clears throat> and reasonability just does, does, does not work. You know, and kicking a little ass is, you know, is sometimes mandatory. And in this case, why not? <laughs> you know, the children of liberty are just these precious ass minded people, sleep ass people who need a little ass kicking to wake them up. Uh, I see no problem with that. But the other, other thing I wanted to address here in the episode as well is the fact that my boy Brandy lost his damn ring. It really hurt him really bad. But Nia, you know, got his spirits back and said, look, these, these setbacks, these setbacks are only going to make you stronger and so forth. Not just that, but in the third point I want to mention as well. The president didn't run by any of the, the higher ups, not the higher ups, but any of the the defense team in regards to that Operation Claymore at all. In fact, you saw Alex is really going to her commander chief said, Look, I'd really appreciate it once you guys, you know, created, you know, this kind of operation and went along with it, you guys would have actually spoke to me about it first. Give me some the fact that Alex is a part of the DEO and everything that she's a, they're, they're like the first response to any uh, foreign threat or threat period, you know, and that's when the director Haney said, look, uh, Colonel Haney said, look, um, actually, the president did that with authorizing the president actually authorized that without telling us anything. And that's when we see Alex go to Lena Luther and said, look, we need your help because I'm no longer the government, you know, as just to pretty much just recall back to the conversation that Lena and Alex had earlier, because now we all know that pretty much the, the government's pretty much crooked. And so Alex is like, look, Lena, I need your help. We need to do this together. We need to band together and do what's right. So I look forward to seeing what that happens next week. Uh, not to mention my boy, not, not my boy, but to see Ben Lockwood actually be the child, one of these uh, po uh, supporters, I guess, of the Asian Liberty of Washington. <laughs> uh, Three Finger John with the damn Asian of Liberty uh, helmet says a lot because honestly, I, I kind of felt like he was kind of going back and forth between, you know, wanting to continue, you know, the Asians of Liberty and, you know, the whole, um, what's, what's what I'm looking for, the whole group mentality of it, you know, because we kind of see him go through like a bit of an identity crisis, you know, him calling his wife, telling him about how, you know, he can keep hearing his father's voice and his head telling him how stupid he is for, you know, actually doing the right thing, you know, for once, you know, staying out of trouble. You know, trying possibly wanting to end the Asians of Liberty and their prejudiced ways. But, you know, as I just said, at the very end of the episode, we see him actually beat the shit out of one of his supporters, ground supporters. Um, so, <laughs> only time will tell what happens. And I hope my boy Brandy gets his ring back as well. And I hope Manchester, you know, finds a way to really heal. Because, you know, and I don't blame him for Manchester for what he's doing either. I would have to, I would have to kick it with ass too if someone was being prejudiced towards me. Time and time again, I mean, you had to take the fight somewhere. You got to take it to the source and see what happens. Peace and love, everybody.